What's going on guys? So I'm going to be 100% honest with you right now. Um, sort of lay everything out on the table. Uh, so it's been about a week and a half since I put out my last video and there's a, there is a reason for that. And that's sort of why I'm starting this off, the, the vlog off with this. Uh, basically this last week has been, or week and a half, has been rather rough on me. Uh, I've been going through a lot of different things and having to deal with a lot of stuff. And because of that, uh, it sort of led to two things. One, I haven't felt, you know, not feeling myself and, and everything and dealing with all this, I haven't felt the you know, desire to record um, and, and you know, create the vlog. And when I did record, I wasn't pleased with a lot of the content that I was recording. It wasn't very good. And with uh, my channel, you know, I understand everybody you know, in their life has to, you know, they're going through things and they're dealing with their own problems and, you know, some problems may be way up here and others are down here, but everything's relative to, you know, to the individual. And although the problems I'm dealing with, you know, for somebody else, maybe, you know, not, they wouldn't even consider them problems. You know, for a third person, they could be, you know, the worst things that they've ever had to experience. So, you know, everybody's dealing with their own, their own stuff and their own going through their own problems, which is why I don't want to burden anybody who would watch my content with, more negativity in their life and that's why I want my content to be you know more upbeat something that that's fun and enjoyable and happy and that you know you can come and watch you know if you have something going on in your life as a way to to forget about it and move past it and just you know enjoy something for for a little while and that's the reason why a lot of the stuff I haven't you know recorded I didn't want to post and I didn't compile any vlogs and I haven't been doing stuff is I don't want to bring out more you know, though I don't want to bring out something that I'm not pleased with um, for, you know, for my content. I want my content to be at a certain level, and a lot of it I felt was sort of like down here. And because of that, I I didn't want to post that there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have I had a talk planned for this video, and I'm going to take all those clips and I'm going to use them just to break up the talk, um, which I'll, I'm going to get to in a minute. Um, but basically, yeah, that's. Those clips so you'll see them playing throughout the video, um, just as a way to break it up so you're not staring at me again for another 10 minutes, but, uh, excuse me there. Um, so there's that sort of the plan. After this, I'm going to get back to uh, to filming it and, and uploading like I had originally anticipated and going on the schedule that I originally anticipated. Um, but I just wanted to sort of be 100% clear and honest right now and, you know, just let everybody know that, you know, I was going through some stuff and... I wasn't 100% ready to record and upload content, but, you know, I'm starting to get things, you know, I'm working on things, I'm getting things better, and, you know, I feel like where I was a week and a half ago, I'm no longer there, and I'm, I'm ready to, to continue this stuff here, um, and, you know, I feel like it's, it's only going to go up from here, uh, things are only going to get better. So, you know, thanks for, for bearing with me over this past week and a half, um, where there has been no content. Um, Things are going to change. I'm going to get back to that schedule that I wanted to very, very quickly, and uh, you know, and, and like I said, this I want this to become something that you know you can come and watch when you're not having a good day, and you're still going to be fine with it. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into the video right now. I'm going to jump straight into the talk, and uh, once again, thanks for everybody for understanding, and uh, you know, next video will be back more in line of what I want out of the. Uh, out of the vlogs on my channel. Alright, so I had this talk planned for a little while and I want this to be sort of the first video in a series of videos that's going to sort of relate to you know, fitness but more broadly just achieving a healthier lifestyle in general um, and that doesn't mean that you know it's going to be specifically geared to the gym or to nutrition or anything like that. It's just for you know, that this content and then this series will be all of sort of my experiences and everything that I've learned and everything that I'm still learning about nutrition and fitness and, and being healthy um, and sort of share that with you guys so, you know, I can give you some, some tips that uh, have helped me in my experiences because like I said before, I've been a big, you know, I've been at the gym for a long time but I haven't... Uh, I've had made mistakes along the way, so hopefully if me sharing some of my experiences um, and sort of things that I've gone through, I, you know, can help other people avoid those same mistakes. 
Um, now, sort of the first area and the, the thing that always comes to mind first is before you can talk about you know, workout splits or macros or supplements or anything like that, um, really the first thing is, is that if you're you know, interested in achieving that healthier lifestyle, then you need to well, first set a goal. Um, and as simple as it sounds, it's not actually a really easy task. Um, and I've seen people set fitness goals that basically have doomed them from the start. Uh, they never really had a chance and it's, it's cut their fitness journey down before it even had a chance to begin. So I've, I've sort of searched through myself and some of the things that have helped me and I've put together a little bit of a, a list here. Um, I'll put the list up here in the corner as I'm going, sort of going through them of things that have helped me along my path. So I guess the first tip would be for when you're setting a fitness goal is set a specific goal. If you know, you want to be, you want to start living a healthier life, that's great, but don't just say, set that as your goal. Set a specific goal. Well, what is it that you want to do? Do you want to get out and, you know, go walking or jogging or, you know, getting outside and getting some more physical activity? Do you want to join a gym? The computers just turned on in the background there, I think. Uh, do you, you know, do you want to start to clean up your diet? Do you want to start, stop eating out so much or, or find healthier food options? The more specific your goal is, the easier it's going to be to achieve and and sort of figure out how to how to, to get to that uh, that goal which brings me into the second tip which is set a reachable goal you know if you're you know let's say you're you're John who's going to the gym if your goal is to is to, to be able to bench you know 225 by the end of the month or in four weeks time, but you're struggling to get 135 right now on the bench, you know, that's a really steep and hard goal to, to reach. It's going to take a lot of, it's going to take a lot out of you to, to try and get there. And even then, you may not be able to get there just, you know, based off of, you know, certain things that are out of your control. And if you set a goal that's, that's unreachable, um, you get into this situation where you could actually set a goal that's a little bit too difficult uh, to reach and you know you start doing things that are you know that that'll actually harm you in the long way you know for, for, for instance with John you know let's say that you know by the time you get to halfway through the month and you haven't started you know you're only at you know 185 or whatever for your bench all of a sudden you start going, well, I'm not, I'm not getting there, I don't think I'm going to get there in time. So you start throwing on more and more weight um, quicker than you should be, and all of a sudden your form takes a hit to be able to lift that, and you know, then you're opening yourself up to injuries. So you know, set a reachable goal. Don't set something that's way out here. On, you know, the big goals, they're really nice. They're, you know, they feel good to accomplish, but you know, they also, they're harder to accomplish. Um, so that's the second one. Uh, you know, set a reachable goal. Third one is make it measurable. You know, Figure out how you're going to do it. If you want to lose weight, you know, set a target weight. If you want to, you know, increase muscle mass, well, pick exercises that, you know, that'll help build that. If you want, you know, bigger, more toned chest, pick exercises that are going to help you get a bigger chest or bigger back or bigger legs. And, you know, find a way that you can take that uh, and measure it, you know, rather than just sitting back going, well, you know, I look okay today. I, don't, I didn't look as good yesterday, you know. That's, it's a lot harder to measure just looking at it. It's a lot easier to measure numbers and lifts and everything like that. So make it measurable. Um, the fourth one is, uh, is establish a timeline. Um, I've been guilty of this in the past of like, well, I want to lose weight, weight, but I don't set a timeline. And then there's sort of no pressure to, to force myself to keep doing it. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save, I'm trying to lose some weight and I don't... I don't have a timeline, so it's, oh, I'll just start next week, I'll start next week, you know, ah, this, you know, I can grab this food here, and then, you know, and uh, I won't count, you know, count calories or macros today, I'll, I'll do it, you know, I'll start next week. Uh, but if you have that timeline, that's, you know, a great way to motivate you um, to, you know, to achieving your goal and, and starting it sooner is if you say, well, in six weeks' time, this is my goal, and it's going to be, it's a specific goal, it's a reachable goal, it's a measurable goal, and I have six weeks to do it. Um, and finally, the, the sort of fifth tip I have is, is don't become discouraged. Fitness is a marathon. It's not a race. 
and I think back to the last time I was dieting, um, there'd be weeks where I'd be, you know, up half a pound or down a pound, and then I'd be up a full pound again, and, you know, in the week-to-week -week changes, you wouldn't see, you know, you'd see fluctuations, but at the end of it, I lost the weight that I wanted to, and I reached what my target weight and target goal was, and the changes in the, the sort of the week-to-week -week through that didn't matter. You know, I got to what my goal was, and, and because of that, you know, I very easily could have became discouraged, well, I just put on a pound, you know, but everybody, life gets in the way. You know, if you're working, if you're in university, if you're in, in, even in high school and you're trying to do this, you know, you're going to have good weeks, you're going to have bad weeks. You know, maybe you have a week where you got a lot going on and you don't have time to go home and make a, you know, a, a clean meal that fits into your macro. So you pick up some fast food, you pick up a pizza, you get to something that just, it's convenient right now because of everything that's going on. And, you know, you you get off goal for a little bit. Well, that's fine. Just realize that next week you have to bunker down, you have to take your, you know, you have to try harder, you know, to, to stay within your goals and just don't let yourself, you know, don't let this one incident derail you. So don't become discouraged if things don't sort of work way, you know, work the way you want. And um, sort of the final thing is, and this is, you know, like a little bit of a bonus is set some mini goals along the way. You know, let's, again, let's say that, you know, by you know, today's November 14th, by Christmas you want to lose 20 pounds. You know, maybe that, depending on, you know, your situation, that could be really easy or that could be really difficult. Um, and if that's your goal, set some mini goals along the way. So set, you know, maybe by the end of November you want to make sure that you're at least down 10, you know, five, seven and a half, whatever pounds. You know, set, a, set mini goals along the way so if Christmas time comes and you don't have, you're not down those 20 pounds. You know, you're again, you're not getting super discouraged because you're able to look back and say, well, I didn't reach my overall goal, but I hit these mini goals along the way. And they also, you know, they tie back into that measurability in the sense that, you know, if you have mini goals, you know, and you're, you know, you can see yourself reaching them, you're, you're, you know, you're doing something in your fitness goal and your healthy living goal in general is a goal that, you know, is measurable. So, so those are my five tips, the, the bonus one and tip there, I guess, too, um, of, you know, things that I do when I'm setting a new fitness goal. Um, you know, right now, I want to I add some strength. And so I have goals set for myself of how I'm going to add that strength. Um, and, you know, I sort of run over these things that I've, you know, that have helped me set my goals and I make sure that I keep sort of referring back to them whenever I set new goals. Um, and, you know, they're, you know, they're a good sort of set of line, guidelines for not even just fitness goals, but, you know, goals in general of, you know, if they fit into these here, then your chances of succeeding with that goal is, is going to be a little bit better. So, like I said, I'm going to put all of those right over here right now. If they're not already there, well, then I'll list them all again. Um, and that's sort of something to keep in mind when you're setting your fitness goal. Like I said, I want to get more uh, of this type of content out about how you know to increase a healthier lifestyle and healthy living. And it's something I'm going to start working on in the future. Um, so that's sort of... And you know, that's sort of the, 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 the talk that I had planned right now. And uh, like I said before, I want to thank you guys for, for bearing with me over the, the past week and a half, two weeks. Um, got more content coming out your way. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, so you can see all that when it comes around. If you want to click the bell there next to the subscribe button too, that gives you a notification whenever I do post new stuff. So if you want, uh, if you want to get that little update whenever something comes out, hey, you know, that's what works, that's what works. And if you could leave the video a like, that would definitely help me and the sort of the channel um, out and, and figure out what people like, what they don't like, uh, and help the channel grow. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope that these can help you in some way, shape, or form in achieving your, your fitness and your healthier lifestyle goals. And we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.